So uh, another example is a piston and the weight on top of the piston and uh, of course there's air inside there's air inside so this is a piston okay pardon me my drawing my drawing really not good so uh, what happened is uh, so basically this is an airtight cylinder 1 kg weight on top where's the position when the weight is increased to 5 so what if I replace this I replace this uh, weight with 5 kg weight what will happen will it grow more so uh, basically this is a pressure case a case of pressure do you still remember your pressure law no I mean not pressure law uh, this is a pressure force over area okay so force over area in this case uh, I will go for P1 having uh, 1 times 10 over area and my P2 because I changed to 5 so 50 over A so just now V1 the area of no the volume of 1 just now with the marker 5 cm do you realize that the bottom is the area of the cylinder so I just put A and this A and this A is of course the same thing so volume of the cylinder is no other than um, maybe I'll just write 5 cm A and then uh, V2 uh, maybe the new reading the new reading I just put X so it's XA and so because of this I could use uh, Boyle's law so I'll just remember it and uh, 10 over so I have uh, P1 V1 equals to P2 V2 so 10 over A and then 5A here equals to 50 over A and x a here this is not multiply is x cut 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 i get 50 here and i get 50 x here so my x which is the reading of on the piston is actually 1 cm so if i go back to the diagram just now it's actually here okay i should i should just rub off this one and this one and I could rewrite this as uh, this is the X. Okay.